Hey, I'm Paul and I'm a FST, Forestry System Transformation student. You're interested in forest ecosystem functions and services and are into policy and economics? This is your place to be. Are you looking for an international study atmosphere in a familiar setting? In Eberswalde, you will be equipped with skills and knowledge to have a positive impact on the world's forests. Do you want to spend your time enjoying nature in beautiful Eberswalde while being right around the corner a vibrant Berlin city? You want to broaden your understanding of the world and continue your scientific journey? Then let's listen up and let's hear some facts about this study program. Forestry System Transformation is a rather novel master program where we take on a socio-economic perspective on modern forest management. So that forests provide us humans a full range of different forest functions and with this a range of different goods and services is not new. But when we look around the world we can see a slight tendency towards the provision of timber and non-timber forest products while other goods and services such as regulating services when we think of carbon sequestration or air and water regulation biodiversity protection or all the cultural uh, benefits forests provide for recreation aesthetics and spiritual identity these goods and services are often much more under provided so in FST, we take a look on how can we provide the full range of forest ecosystem services and what needs to be changed in order to allow for this. Now, when we think about the range of forest ecosystem services, we are confronted with a range of challenges. We are talking about very diverse uh, forest ecosystems in Germany and even more diverse when we upscale to international level. Attached to these different forest ecosystems, we have a full variety of different institutions and forest management systems. Often we have a lack of information, so the connection between a forest function, a service and the benefits we as humans derivate from this is often not that a clear-cut clear -cut case. In addition, well, when we think about the value dimension, only some of these services have a monetary value attached where we can assign, for example, a certain price, while other services do not have a monetary value but are of utmost importance for society. So somehow we need to deal with these challenges and we are thinking about ways how can we overcome them. Because also when we look around globally, we see many good examples of governance innovations, of economic uh, initiatives that allow for the sustainable provision of these ecosystem services. Now in FST, we approach these challenges in a different way. We take on four different perspectives. All perspectives target on forestry systems we understand as coupled social ecological system. And we ask, okay, what can be changed in terms of forest management? What forest management strategies are out there in order to provide different forest ecosystem services or bundles thereof? We also take on an economic perspective rooted in ecological economics and ask the question what new economic models are out there that take planetary boundaries seriously into consideration. A third perspective is rooted in governance and policy and we ask okay what needs to be changed on policy dimensions to allow for the provision of ecosystem services how to bring and integrate them better in the policy agenda and finally we take on a perspective on innovation and transformation potentials learning about different type of innovation and learning about different transformation strategy to really become active to become a change agent when we think about um, changes of the forestry system so in a nutshell fst it's a consecutive master program which requires from you a background in forestry agriculture, environmental sciences, or any other kinds of natural resource management. The study program is deeply inter- and transdisciplinary. 
It is uh, in a duration of four semesters with two semesters of different modules that cover these four dimensions, a third semester in the realm of a project semester and the fourth semester dedicated to your master thesis. The program is entirely in English, requiring from you a B2 level and uh, we have about 28 study places. So far it's a very international program with uh, all, nearly all major countries represented in there. What can you do with FST? Um, basically, you become trained to act later on the science policy and the science business interface because you are able to play with these different dimensions and to combine them towards an integrated view. Job possibilities offer, for example, the new developments in bioeconomy. So when it comes to consultation of firms, you are well suitable to act as a policy advisor from national to international sphere to give recommendations on sustainable uh, resource management. Of course, you can work in different companies uh, that are related to forestry or the wood processing sector. You can also enter, uh, of course, uh, the world of becoming a freelancer. As you can see, the job is the job profile. It's not clearly defined, but it offers you a wide range of possibilities. And so far, we can see that our alumni are all well suitable and fitted to the job market. If FST is something that you consider being helpful, if you're looking forward to become a change agent, to get a good understanding of forestry systems and of socio-economic dimensions of it, you are well right here and we are very much looking forward to welcoming you in Eberswalde and at the FST study program. Amanda, thanks for being here. So you are a second semester student in FST. You come from Brazil. Uh, that means you have survived uh, the cold Eberswalde winter time. What's your experience so far being in Eberswalde and studying at Heine? Yeah, thanks, Professor Mann, uh, for all the introduction. Um, well, my experiences so far here in the university have been very positive. Um, well. I think the university brings me a sense of community uh, in Ebersfalde and uh, being a foreigner, this is very important. Um, the idea of small class sizes, for example, I have easy access to professors and to students and I think this is very positive academically but also socially. I also love that um, the university is in the middle of a forest, so it's beautiful landscapes around here. And also every week we have the opportunity to go to the forest and apply theory that we learn in the classes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And um, when you think of the study program, what triggered you to really choose forestry system transformation as a master program to study and to come to Germany? Um, well, I come from Brazil, as you said, and Brazil has an important role when it comes to forest management. Um, so um, I think like uh, I was also reflecting that we have to take into consideration that to manage forest and to manage uh, natural resources has a lot of complexity uh, because uh, we need to take from the forest, but at the same time we have to enhance biodiversity, we have to enhance high quality of uh, forest people, of indigenous tribes, for example. And um, the master program has a very innovative curriculum um, in regarding to this because it really emphasizes uh, this holistic idea that we must have before uh, taking decisions. And um, I think that was my main motivation to come to uh, the university. But also uh, Germany has, is a pioneer uh, in terms of uh, sustainability um, policies and uh, yeah, worldwide. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, and true. Um, uh, our university is quite innovative, uh, but mm -hmm. we also have very motivated uh, students. Do you know already what you would like to work uh, after you finished your studies? 
Um, yes, um, I have been reflecting about this. Um, I think I would love to work um, as, I don't know, maybe an interface between um, policy, climate policy or um, uh, climate policy and sustainability, because I, I really um, like uh, the idea that how politics can scale up uh, initiatives and also ideas. Um, and also, I think if we want, um, we we can change this world. I think it's a massive um, um, it's a it's a massive effort that we have to do, but um, we can do this, and that's why I would like to work maybe as an advisor and as a consultant for development um, cooperation projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much, Amanda. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Ramazan Bilbul, and I am working as an academic employee, as a researcher on a project at Abbasfield University. This master's program was a turning point for me, not only because I gained a deep understanding of the challenges facing our world, but also because it helped me find my niche in the forestry. Our department provides incredible opportunities to learn about the latest development in forestry. Through this program and with the help of inclusive and supportive environment in our university, I have discovered my passion for the technologies used in forestry. I encourage you to explore our department and discover your own niche in this exciting and important field. My name is Katharina Mosebach. I am currently working at an organization that is called Schutzgemeinschaft Deutscher Wald, um, which is environmental education in the southwest of Germany, um, in Baden-Württemberg. And we go to schools and kindergartens and do different projects with the children there um, on the topics of sustainability, um, the forest ecosystem in general and um, nature protection. Yeah, we also just try to have a nice time with the children out in the forest. And um, for me, um, studying in Eberswalde was really cool um, because I got all the knowledge and the information about the forest ecosystem and also about the um, environmental education part, but also the location itself was really cool because I was always living in Berlin and could go by train um, very easy from Berlin to Eberswalde and back in one day. Um, and yeah, I had the positive sides of, of both cities, um, the big city of Berlin and also the nature and the nice forest campus in Eberswalde. Hello, Martin. Hello, Monica. What experiences have you had studying at the Highland? Um, over the course of the studying, uh, it was really interesting to, to experience the familiarity of the campus life, mm -hmm. which is immersed in the forest. There is also another city campus, um, but uh, it offered plenty of opportunities to um, have an exchange with uh, like-minded people um, on ecological matters and um, there were yeah good opportunities uh, for excursions and to discover the um, forests and the lakes here near, nearby and I also participated to some um, gardening and uh, associations of uh, environmentalists so yeah nice interesting and why did you choose the FST program mm. So two years ago, uh, when I was also in the decision phase uh, of uh, choosing a master, um, it was important to me to find a course on the forefront of ecological education and parallelly also on uh, social transformation. And so FST is um, to me very suitable in understanding these transformations. Mm -hmm. And what would you recommend then to future students that could uh, choose the FSC program? Mm, I really enjoyed the uh, interactive and um, innovative teaching formats with um, group uh, works as well as with uh, presentations. And um, so this offers a good take on the transdisciplinary, transdisciplinary approaches. Mm -hmm. And what are your plans for the future? Um, well, currently I've had an experience on uh, research, on ecosystem um, um, 
changes. Mm -hmm. And so for the future, I, I would seek a job which is able to moderate and to um, portray the discussions which happen with um, scientific findings to mediate it with uh, civil society and political decision makers. Thank you, Martin. It has been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Monica. Hello, I'm Hussein. I came from Lebanon and I study forestry system transformation in Eberswalde, Germany. Welcome to the Carbon Neutral Forest Campus in the middle of the forest. Here you can find the Faculty of Forest and Environment and Wood Engineering. Here you can attend your classes surrounded by this magnificent view. If you need any further information, don't hesitate to contact the Student Advisory Service here in Eberswalde or me. I'm the FST coordinator and we are really looking forward to see you soon here in Eberswalde.